What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 6 Premiere Pro tutorial and in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys how to add some simple effects to your videos. Now I'm not talking about special effects like Transformers 2 where a robot comes down and smashes a car over your head. I'm talking some really simple effects like contrast, brightness, how to make your video clips fade to black at the end, some simple stuff like that. So the very first thing we need to do is of course get a video clip. So go ahead and take a video clip and pull it out on the timeline just like that. So now we have a pretty cool looking video clip. Pretty cool. So say we wanted to, I don't know, do something simple like change the color of this or you know maybe make it a little brighter or change the contrast. Well what we can do is do something called apply an effect to it. And that's what the exact same thing that that does it can change it or alter it in some kind of way so all of our effects are in this tab right here named appropriately effects and all the effects that we apply to the video are under yes guess which one video effects these presets are for something weird audio effects and audio transitions are for the audio of course video transitions are for when you're moving from one clip to another clip I'll go over that later on but for now say we want to do something like change the brightness or change the color of this video we would go under video effects and then we have all these options right here but the most common ones are under adjust we can adjust the color the contrast the levels I work with levels a lot because it's a really simple way to make some major improvements on your video so say you want to change the levels and the levels is kind of a fancy way of saying the contrast of your video you can do so in one of two ways if you have your video clip selected in the timeline then all of its effects are gonna appear in the effects controls at the top if you don't have it selected then nothing's gonna appear but go ahead and select that and you can go ahead and see all of the effects controls so now I are saying alright here are some basic effects that are built in already so in order to apply levels to this just go ahead and drag the levels from the effects panel in the bottom left into the effects controls and release now you can adjust the levels for this video clip however this is an easier way to do it and go ahead and hit control Z and that's gonna undo that and I'm gonna show you the easier way if you say alright I want to work with auto color or we might as well stick with levels and I want to apply it to this video clip right here what you can do is go ahead and hold the icon down and drag it out on your video clip and once you have it over your video clip you're gonna see that it's highlighted once you have the clip highlighted that you want to work with just go ahead and release it and then it applies those levels to that video clip so now you can go ahead and adjust all these settings which we'll get to this a little later on the level settings for this video clip so that's how you apply a simple effect to a clip however like I said there are more than just simple video effects there's also something called transitions but before I even get to that I but I might as well mention this whenever you're looking for an effect say for example you just watched this tutorial and you're saying alright Bucky just applied levels so let me go ahead and find levels okay where did he have it is it under audio where the heck was that if you go ahead and in the top right here you can go ahead and search for whatever effect you're looking for and it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier the only thing you have to remember is whenever you search for something and you want to get something else remember to clear it out for example if you go ahead and try to search for color right now and you have levels typed in there then the only thing that are gonna appear is the levels so go ahead and clear it out and then you have all your other stuff you see what I'm saying? Alright, hopefully you understand. If not, well, that kind of sucks. So, before I let you guys go, I'm going to show you guys how to make a cool transition. So, go ahead and go to the end of your movie and add a title right at the end. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and go ahead and play this and check it out. In our movie, it just goes to the clip and then it cuts to the title. Okay, pretty cool. goes to the clip, it plays and then it cuts to the title. You know what? I'm not really feeling it. That isn't really that exciting. I wish there was a better way of transitioning from this clip to the title other than having it just pop in. 
Well, lucky for you, there is. And all of those are under Video Transitions. So go ahead and expand Video Transitions. And let me think of a really easy one that's going to be easy to see on YouTube. Under Page Peel, go ahead and grab the transition you want and drag it in between the two clips. Now, some of them are going to pop on one side or the other, and some of them are just going to go right in the middle. What Page Peel is, is it gives you the effect of one of the clips peeling off like a scab peeling off your skin. <laughs> Probably should have gave another example, but that's pretty much what it is. Like a scab peeling off. And you can go ahead and adjust the length. Alright, if we play this and check it out. Okay, that's a pretty cool effect, but it was just too fast. I want to make it a little longer. If we go ahead and drag the length of it, just like this, we can make it even longer. So now let's go ahead and play our clip. Check it out a whole lot cooler than just cutting from one clip to another title or one clip to another clip. So those are the basics of how to apply effects and transitions to your videos. And in the next tutorial, what I'm going to be talking about is all these effect settings and how to master the effect. So now we know how to get the effects on our video clip. Now I'm going to show you guys how to work with the settings and master it until you got it exactly how you want it. So that's what you guys have to look forward to. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.